Today we're going to be looking at pruning our red twig dogwoods. Now red twig dogwoods are known for their red bark that you see appear in the winter time, but they're a really great plant to have in the Oklahoma garden year round. This particular one is called Garden Glow and so it actually has more of a lime green foliage to it that will start to present itself in the summertime. Now like other red twig dogwoods, it does have a white flower that will produce in the springtime. And then as I mentioned, the lime green foliage in the summer, which will then eventually turn to your uh, traditional fall colors in the fall time. So it really has year round interest to it. And when I talk about red twig dogwoods and how to prune them, you would treat your yellow twig dogwoods the same way. They're very similar, um, just one has yellow twigs and the other has red twigs. So on this particular one we're looking at, you can see that there are brown twigs uh, in this with also the red twigs. Now the red twigs are the newer growth and the brown twigs, as the twigs get older or the branches get older, they produce that more traditional bark on them and really begin to lose that red color that we're after for that fall winter attraction. So what you want to do when you're pruning this is to go in as low as you can to the base of that plant and prune out any of the older branches. These older branches again are the ones that have the kind of the dull brown bark to them. Most red twig dogwoods do well in full sun. Now because this one has a lime green foliage to it, it will scorch a little bit in full sun. So this particular one called Garden Glow actually likes a little bit of shade on it. Now they also prefer traditional average soil. So they really are well adapted to a range of soils. If they had their preference though, it would be moist, well drained, slightly acidic soil. Now you're going to want to go in and prune this either once a year or once every couple of years to again take out that old growth, those brown branches. Um, if you haven't done this in a while, you might notice that you have several brown branches in there that you're going to want to remove. And in that situation, what you might do is just take maybe a third of them out the first year. So, because every time you cut out branches, you're going to be losing some of that foliage growth, that canopy growth also. So you don't want to take too much of that growth out of the canopy um, during that first year of pruning. Again, that's on a shrub that you haven't pruned in several years. But in order to rejuvenate it, take about a third of those old branches out. The following year, take another third, so on and so forth. And eventually you'll have all of your growth being fresh and new and have that bright, vibrant color. hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.